Greetings, welcome to this tutorial on how to take a PowerPoint and um, convert it to be able to be used in a uh, Smart Notebook 2015. This is the guidance that I had gotten from Smart Tech, and so which doesn't seem so smart to me, but I guess you can't win them all. I'm actually going to open up a PowerPoint file from Keynote. Um, Keynote does a great job of opening up PowerPoint files. Uh, sometimes you might get different uh, fonts or whatever, but uh, I don't worry too much about that, especially if it's static. And I'm not really looking for interactivity in this particular case, but uh, I want it to um, just to annotate over the top so I can do like a flipped lesson, which uh, some teachers like to do. So anyway, here, here I've opened up a file, and I've, I've already opened up this PowerPoint. And to do that, you go File Open. You find the presentation. Um, and this was an actual PPTX file, uh, PowerPoint file, right there. And then you open it. It comes up just like this. And what I'm going to do is uh, do Command A. I don't know if you have to do that, but I did it anyway. And under that, I'm going to go to Export to. And this does this so much better than what PowerPoint does. So I'm going to export this as a PDF. Uh, image quality, I'm going to choose better, best, whichever better is fine. And uh, all I have to do is hit Next. It then asks me where I want to save this, and if you get, uh, if sometimes you get uh, just a smaller window, it's this little box right here that you click on. And I'm going to choose the Documents folder, and I hit Export, and I've already done that already, and I've called this Sea Lion PDF, so I'm going to skip hitting Export. Through the miracles of modern television, it already did that. So now I've got my my PDF file. And if I was to view this, let's go into Documents. Here's my Sea Lion PDF. If I do a quick view for, uh, hitting the space bar, I see all my slides on the side. Great. I'm actually going to open this with Preview for the Mac. And I'm going to highlight by doing uh, clicking on one of these, doing Command A. And then I go into Smart Notebook. Open that up. Move this off to the side. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these slides and I'm going to drag them down in this main window and let go. And basically what it'll do from there is it'll convert it into slides for your annotation. And we'll, uh, This does take a little bit, but I can tell you that once it's uh, finished, You'd be able to use your pen tools to mark it up, um, use QuickTime to go through the presentation and whatnot, and basically mark it up how you want it. Very advantageous for a flipped classroom environment or just filling in um, blanks. Now you could use this for a Word document and import this in to your uh, notebook if you don't have Smart Ink enabled, if, uh, if you don't have a smart board that you're working with. Uh, so here I go. Um, Click on any one of these, and I can click on the pen tool. Uh, choose what line thickness I have. And there we go. So you mark this up all you wish. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. And um, from there, thanks for watching.